Hey guys, it's the Catarded789 here, and I got a little something different for you. I got a, an unboxing video. I just got my uh, Razer Onza, just came in the mail today. Um, so we're gonna open it up. Come on. There we go. Uh, plastic crap. What's this? I have to see stuff. Awesome, so let's just, I'm, I'm, I know there's an easy way to open this, but I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna do it quickly. This is so awesome. I've been waiting for this thing for like over a week. Okay, I've seen a lot of unboxing videos, so I'm like a, probably gonna be like a pro at unboxing this. Uh, this stuff is annoying, I heard. Alright, so I think, yeah, it just comes out there, and then it comes out. Oh, this is awesome. And so we just pull it out, Ugh. and awesome, there it is, get this out of here. As you can see, I'm not very careful with unboxing stuff. <laughs> My initial instinct is to just rip it to pieces, get it open as fast as possible. Alright, so uh, first thing we can see is this uh, braided cable here. It's really cool because um, supposedly it's uh, it, it will never tangle. I'm I'm honestly I've had my doubts about that. I've never seen a cable that is never tangled, um, but I'm anxious to see if that works. And also, of course, it's more durable. I mean, it doesn't. It's not like a rubber wire. It's like literally like a braided rope or something, as you can see here. If it focuses, yeah, there. And then uh, so it's 15 feet, which means I'll it'll, it'll never. Um, uh, You'll never run out of room with that. And right off the back, uh, this thing feels really good. This is that's what she said. But um, this is a really, really comfortable hold right here. And uh, as you can see, the separated D-pad. I really like that. I've always hated how you press right on the D-pad on a standard controller and it goes up or something. And um, the sticks are nice. They're a bit elevated, which is nice. It's somewhere between a regular remote and a uh, a, uh, a control freak or a FPS freak. And the remappable but buttons are up here, and um, so basically the remappable buttons, if you haven't been looking up this controller already, is that, um, so we got our right bumper here and the right trigger, but right here is this remappable button. And on the back, there's this button that says remap right, if I can get it, yeah, remap right. So if I hold that button down, if I, ugh, if I hold that down and then press one of these, it'll remap it to there. Uh, whatever. Uh... Stupid phone. Okay, good. And so, um, the next thing is these hyper response buttons. Now, I haven't tried this out, but that actually, that is, that is amazing. Like, y you must be, as I thought too, I mean, you must be thinking, well, what's the difference? I mean, it's pretty easy to press down the buttons on a standard Xbox controller, but this, like, it's practically like a touch button, like a touch screen. You just tap it and it goes in. That's really nice. Um, and the, uh, the big thing that I really wanted, because I, um, I don't really play well with high sensitivities, is this um, feature where you can adjust the resistance of the uh, control sticks. So you just turn it, like if you turn it all the way to the right, it becomes really resistant. And that's actually, that's, that's a pretty good uh, resistance feel. If you can keep turning it, it just becomes, yeah. And if you turn it all the way to the left, it's like the lightest control stick ever. I mean, it's a really cool feel, and I really like how you can adjust the control sticks to uh, a, a resistance that really uh, fits your playing. So, um, yeah, this has been... Oh, wait, also, the uh, the texture on this remote. It's really nice. It's, it's not really rubber, but it's kind of like a plastic rubberized kind of feel. It's uh, it, your hands will probably never get sweaty on this. I mean, this is a really cool feel. I mean, it doesn't your hands don't get sweaty. So um, this has been the unboxing and uh, slight description of the Razer Anza remote uh, tournament edition. Uh, honestly, I would suggest picking one of these up. I got mine off Amazon because Anza was sold out on their website, Razer or whatever. Um, I would really suggest picking these up, one of these up, if you are a serious gamer. Uh, it's a 50 bucks, which is the price of the regular Xbox 360 remote. Or if you want to get the standard edition, that is $10 less, but you don't get the little adjusty things on the side. 
of the uh, control sticks. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody, and uh, I will see you all next time. Hey guys, real quick. Um, after the video, I took the wire and rolled it up around the remote to uh, keep it all clean and neat so I could take it into my room and hook it up to my Xbox. And uh, it tangled in a couple places, but I just pulled it and it instantly untangled. I mean, they're not kidding when they say this this wire doesn't can doesn't tangle. And um, also, thanks to my good friend Mr. Brad, dude, I got an old copy of Windows XP, which through a bunch of hectic crap, I eventually got to install it on my iMac through Boot Camp. So um, uh, because of that, I d decided to get the Roxio Game Cap with the Machinima discount, which is like twenty dollars off, which is cool. Um, so I got that, it should be here in a couple days, I will do an unboxing video of that, and hopefully because it's easier to use, the and since I don't have to switch it to the Xbox to standard def and restart it to record, um, because you can play in HD with the Rock Show Game Cap, which is awesome. Um, uh, because, uh, of that, I will be probably be doing more gameplays and more, uh, Xbox videos and stuff like that, so, um, look forward to that, and also, I'm giving my old eye grabber to RBS Mega, so he will be trying to get um, more uh, gameplays out too, and maybe more montages and stuff, because usually he has to come to either me or Brad with his HD PVR to record his stuff. So um, he will hopefully have more videos up too, so all good things coming around, Roxio Game Cap unboxing, me more gameplays, and hopefully RBS Mega more gameplays. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.